back to the inverted wonder. Today we're going to be queuing into Anahatasana, also known as the melted heart pose or extended puppy butt pose. For this practice, if you or someone who suffers from a knee injury or neck issues or problem, please avoid this pose if you don't want to make any of those issues any more painful. Um, the other thing is for today, I'll be showing you how to get into the pose with a bolster, which if you don't have a bolster, you can just roll up a blanket or you can stack a few pillows. And then I will also be using two blocks as well. If you don't have blocks, then two really thick books would work just perfectly. So this pose, Anahatasana, um, is really good in strengthening and stretching and opening up the back, as well as opening up the shoulders. So if you're someone who tends to hunch more, if you have a desk job, this is a really good pose to open up that chest and elongate that spine. So, to come in, into the pose, you want to come onto your hands and your knees. You want to make sure that you are stacking your knees underneath your hips, and then your knees are going to be hip distance apart. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Now, to get into this pose, I will keep my hips where they are and simply just walk out my hands. So, as I walk out my hands, my chest and my head are coming down to the ground, but my hips are staying over my knees. Now here you really want to press down to the hands, keep the elbows up, and then if you'd like, you can drop your forehead down to the ground, or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can try and cover your head. Now some organic movement that you can do this pose, you can rock your elbows to the back, side to side, which just gets into a little bit more of that chest opening aspect. If you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you can even come to bring your chin down up to the ground. You're going to notice that I'm going more into a back bend. My elbows do come down to the ground. And this just gets into a little bit deeper in that chest. And now you can make this more restorative and lower the elbows, but you'll notice that you kind of lose that integrity in your shoulder and your back. So you really want to press those hands up, keep those elbows up, and flaring. It looks like I'm playing my hips up, but really keeping my hips stuck over my head. Now, to come out of this pose, you have two directions you can go. You can either walk your hands back up and come into a tabletop pose, or in front of a pause, you can slither through to sphinx and come to lie down and rest if you need to on your side. Now, um, to use the props, if you feel like you don't feel very stable, in your uh, lower body, so your legs, you can go ahead and bring that bolster. Now, if you don't have a bolster, uh, roll a blanket or a pillow would work just fine. But what you're going to do, you're going to come to bring that bolster in between your thighs and your calves, and then pressing your legs down together. And you're same thing, right? I'm in that tabletop pose. And then when I'm ready to come down, I'll bring my upper body down the same way I did before, but this time I've got a little bit more stability. I've got my legs actually squeezing in towards that bolster below the blanket, and it gives me a little bit more stability in the pose. Another way, if you're looking to come deeper into opening up that chest, would be bringing, coming to bring two blocks. So if you don't have two blocks, two really thick books would work just fine. So, <clears throat> Coming to bring those blocks so that they're about shoulder distance apart, your elbows are going to come to rest on the block. So you can come to rest your elbows, remember keeping your hips over your knees. <clears throat> you kind of got to work on it to get the proper. And then when you're ready, your hands can come into a prayer position, and then you can kind of just start to now bring your forehead to the ground. You'll notice that they're putting the blocks under my elbows. It's allowed me to come a little bit deeper. Now, if that feels a little bit too much for you, or if you want to go a little bit more, you can also bring your hands on the block when you bring your forehead down. Now, if you choose to keep your elbows on the block, the one thing that you can do to get a little bit deeper to open up that chest would be to bring your hand into prayer and then slowly start to bring your thumb back to touch your upper back or that scapula, shoulder blade. You can do that three times to see how that feels in the chest as it's opening it up. And then again, to come out of it, you can press into your elbows and slowly walk back up or come down to rest on your stomach. So again, Anahatasana is really good for opening up the chest, for elongating the spine. 
Um, there are a few variations that you can use there. If you're someone who doesn't want or can't get down onto your knees, one option would be to use um, a chair. So I kind of have a chair right here. So to get the same benefits, it would be simply coming to bring your hands on the chair and then allowing your head to kind of droop down. Now this will get a little bit more into the backs of your legs, but it gets you off of your knees and you're able to kind of play around in on a tassana with the chair. So I hope that you like this short little tutorial on Anahantasana, extended puppy dog pose. Please tell me uh, how you liked it, what you'd like to see down in the comment section below, and I will see you again on the very Bye!